That's my welcome in my language. Before I do get started with my presentation, I would like to acknowledge the traditional people of this country that we are gathered on tonight. The Gabi Gabi, the Kabi Kabi people from the past, present and the future, we honour their spirit. So, so I'm here representing Tribal Voice. Tribal Voice was um, developed by myself and um, I guess it, it is what it stands for, Tribal Voice, being a voice for my people. I'm here to talk about and teach you a little bit about my culture just through a glimpse from the past, the present and also the future. For the people who do know me, my name is Samantha Martin. My Aboriginal name is Nyadbi, which explains tall gum tree. My skin name is Nyaru, and Nyaru means sister. So it's a kinship within our tribes that links us to each other. My tribe name are the Gija and the Jaru people. They're a descendant from the Western Desert or the East Kimberley region. As you can see, there's over 700 different language groups in Australia before white settlement. And those language groups have suffered a lot. But there are a lot of cultures that are still speaking the language. This is my mother, Nancy Dorothy Martin. She has been my rock, my inspiration for everything I stand for. I'm actually getting emotional. Mm -hmm. So, um, as you can see, I do get emotional about my people and talking about my culture. The oldest culture of the world. I think that speaks for itself. So the past, we have to acknowledge that our people were chained and slaughtered. But we came from such a significant, such a such a tribal culture of living off the land and having no shoes where we connected with Mother Earth. Everything was seasonal, everything was about living off the land and eating what the land provided for us. Our culture has been such a, and is such a spiritual culture. A lot of people go overseas to seek other cultures and the spirituality. But right here in our backyard, we have such a spiritual, strong culture that we have connected with Mother Earth on such a deep level for thousands and thousands of years. So this is a gathering of the old ladies teaching us about bush tucker. As you can see, we have a, a little coconut, bush coconut. It's not the kind of coconut that we're used to. But with that one coconut, shares shared amongst everybody just to get a taste. This is me getting painted up as a child. These are my elders who have been responsible for giving me the knowledge and the spirit that I have today to fight and to be a voice and a strong voice for my people. Auntie Peggy Patrick would tell us stories as she would paint our faces, as you see today. We sit there in anticipation, wondering what we have to do, but we know that we have to stand strong and proud and dance for it who we are and our people. At a very early age, we brought education into Catholic schools and that was a changing point for our people of acknowledgement. These beautiful women were the ones who taught me at school and now I come back and I acknowledge them while they do ceremony on their land that's being mined for diamonds. They bring in a welcome ceremony for the new workers and allowing them to acknowledge that this is sacred land. As you can see, my people, we have a balance and have had a balance on this earth between male, female, child and animal. The landscape itself speaks of million, million stories and also the foods that we eat. Our rich culture, cultural heritage I think you can probably read that for yourself. As I was doing this slide, I was really inspired. And everything that was coming to me, I really needed to write it down rather than show a picture so that you can actually see. I, I take on the journey, I take on my challenges of, of my people 
and to be a voice, but also for Mother Earth and our country. As you can see here, we are looking at fighting for our country in the Kimberley region to keep the gas mines from out of this beautiful frontier. Another thing I'm very passionate about is bush tucker. Living off the land has been part of my life for such a long time and seeing what Mother Earth can provide for me is quite a skill to have. But that's on my country, just in the back of my station. And this is in Arnhem Land, eating honey straight from the tree. Bush tucker has been such a big part of our, my people's life. And a man mentioned um, before, apparently we lived off this land. Well, apparently it's not the kind of word that you would use when we have 40, over 40,000 years of existence on this so-called inhibited land. So our future, I talk about the younger generation. I have to touch the hearts and be a role model for my young leaders of tomorrow. These young girls, I have the privilege of knowing up in Bundaberg, teaching them about headdress and working with ochres and being their role model. So I take from my elders what was taught to me and what was taught to them for generations and generations and what the land has to speak to me about and what I have to say on behalf of the country. So the young women's business, I then teach what I know to them. And these are our future, these are the next generation to stand up and be strong for our people, our ancestors who didn't have that voice. So I teach them to be proud and deadly and to not be shame, but to be gay. On behalf of Travel Boys, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to me. Jujitna. <laughs>